what is going on everybody this is e-bike guy and today we have another e-bike for you and today we have the aremo 701 uh monster right here yes goodness so we're going to be opening this box up and get it out and today we got e-bike Knievel right here he's going to be testing out the bike and then my next door neighbor over here he had, he's good in e-bikes too <laughs> yeah he had a couple e-bikes in his uh in his time right here so yeah man let's go and get it open and see what we got in the box yes sir huh mm -hmm. yeah so we got staples right there yeah so we got e-bike Knievel he's gonna he open the box up so i i, I usually i usually I was going to stop doing an unboxing and just go ahead and just put the bike together and do a review on it. But a lot of people want to see the unboxing of these e-bikes. They got to yeah, get some just, muscles in some, there. Some serious boxing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. You can do that. Yeah. There you go. Mm-hmm. Huh? Yeah. Yeah, well packaged and everything and all. Alright. Yeah, got that yeah, there's a seat. There's a seat post. Now this seat got it um this seat right here has a, it's a special one because it has a pump on it. Oh yeah. Alright. Now if you go ahead and look on the uh, right here, so you got a pump right here. Oh yeah. You can pump that pump the seat up and then you can release it. Yeah. There's a release, yeah. Man. Man, that's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder how it feels. I wonder how it Let's see. It feels soft. Look at it. Yeah. Look like it's soft. Yeah. yeah. All right. So what we're going to be doing now is we're going to go ahead and um, get all the zip ties off. I believe it comes. So we got some more stuff in there too. So we got the charger, probably some tools. Battery yeah, the battery right there. Okay. Yeah. And then get the... Uh, now, be that for the tools, pedals. Mm -hmm. All right, now you can get the wire cutters. Now, this one come with a 350 watt uh, buffet motor, so that's a that's a good uh, motor right there. And it has a, I believe, it's a seven speed Shimano. Yeah. Either a seven or a six speed. Let's see. Two, three. Yeah, it's seven speed. Yeah, they got seven speed Shimano. They got a 20 TZ uh, Durell, which is a good. That's a good Durell right there. You know, so I, know I have no problems with that because actually this actually came on my bike too, my uh, 8,000 watt e-bike. But I switched it, switched it up for uh, a, uh, a, a derail with a clutch on it. And then we're going to go ahead. Now I come with some uh, some good tires too. These are punctures. These are 27 TPI. Um, so these uh, these tires right here actually are um, more puncture resistance. Mm -hmm. So you can um, don't have to worry about, you know, some thorns or cactus. Uh, getting in the way and having a flat. This one, uh, actually, the, the price of this one is five hundred dollars. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's five hundred dollars and it's fast, but um, for me, it's yeah, it's perfect. Well, it's faster. I'm telling you one thing though. Do you remember the e-bike you had that you what? It's faster than that one. Yeah, it's faster than that one. And then use the coupon code. The, the, the coupon code, you're gonna save some money too. Yeah, so I have that. I have that in the description too. Now the difference between uh, the other bikes with the controller. See the controller is right there. Yeah. So the controller is right there in the battery base right there. So. And hey, you ain't gonna be able to tell. Really? No, you ain't gonna be able to tell nothing. Yep. Yep. So let's go see what's inside the box. We're gonna move the seat out of the way. Uh, we got the bike partially unwrapped, like Christmas, and uh, actually it's in November. <laughs> so they got the, what's that? Yeah, yeah, structure manual. Okay, yeah. Warranty service. Oh yeah. Okay. So the warranty. So they got the pedals. So those are good pedals right here. Yeah, these are metal, not plastic. So that's pretty good. And then there's this on um, the straight, this the uh, straight axle right here. This is called like a boost axle. And then here's the screws to put the rotor on. All our tools. Now we don't we don't really need all the tools out of the toolbox over there, so we can use these. And then we got the rotor. Lights. And then we got the uh, derail guard. So this is the derail guard right here. We put on the derail. So this, what this is is in case somebody knocks it over, it protects the derail from bending. Yeah. Yep. And then we got the um the reflector. So we got the front and rear reflector, but. 
we're gonna be uh what's this some type of protection probably is oh it probably go around the probably go around the uh-huh probably go around the big one oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah okay okay and that's it so let's uh cut over this one we probably we're gonna put a headlight on this though so <laughs> Okay, that's a charger. Oh yeah, this is a good charger. This is a four amp charger. Mm. Yeah, it's not even a two amp charger. Ooh. Yeah, yeah. So that's a real good charger. Now, that one looks just like the one on the trucks. It's Lynx, but like I say, this one's actually a four amps, so it charges real fast. Yeah, yeah it charges faster than the, uh, the one on the trucks. Is. And then here's the battery. And there's the battery. Got the key. I don't know, man. It feels good to open uh, to do an open box, really. To tell you the truth, huh? Fast charging. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. So what we got here is a 36 volt, 13 amp hours, and it says like um 468 watt hours. So 36 volt, not bad at all. Because my son, uh, my, my son had um, a 36 volt e-bike like this, but I think this one's gonna be. Yeah, this is gonna be top. I mean, you're gonna get good range with this one, right? Uh, yeah, real good range. And stick the key in there. All right. You know what we should do now? While we're putting the bike together, we're going to go ahead and throw this on the charger. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So here we go. We got everything that we need out of the box. And we're going to go ahead and put the rotor on the front wheel and throw it throw it on front wheel on the uh, drop out, the front drop out. Get everything tightened up and then we'll give you a final view of the bike. All right. Yeah. So we're, we're finishing putting the pedals on. We got to tighten it up. So the toolkit for the pedals is right there in the bag. We're going to tighten them up. So here we already got the. Uh, yeah, Ramo Monster 100. So I'm gonna go over the, the features it got. Uh, one thing, one feature I like is about the the adjustable neck that this bike has. Uh, you can you can have from zero degrees all the way to 50 degrees, which I like that. Has a little uh, nice little compact display. So we're gonna be getting used to that in a minute. And this is a 21 speed, so we have a um, the, the seven speed Shimano on, on the on the right, and then you have the three speed on the on the left. Then, like I said, the control is built in uh, into the battery base, which is a, let's see here, can't really get a good uh, focus on it. But anyways, it is an 18 amp uh, current, 31.5 volts. So that's uh, so that's the control that this bike has. And then here's the big fan motor, 350 watt. I think it's 500 watt peak. Also, we have right here is a, a 160 millimeter rotors, front and rear, and then we have cable actuated brakes. Um, both aisles, these are pretty much common. These pads right here, I have a whole bunch of these pads, so they pretty much common. They are, these are the ones that come on the Zoom um, Aztec also, the hydraulic brakes. Then we get the seat on. <laughs> Suspension is not adjustable. And we have this before you install the front wheels, note that the fork top bridge okay so that's the dummy actually that we just did so we took that off and we take that off now and then i love this little uh, padding it's a rainbow painting right here to cover the cables yeah uh we have uh we have a half twist throttle uh comfy grips i mean not the best but they the um they will do the job and then we have the um levers with the brake uh the uh power cutoff switches installed and get that off right there uh -huh. all right so that's it hmm? oh yeah you can put the front on uh, so we're gonna be doing we're gonna put the uh derailleur guard on so we got these two allen screws right there we're gonna go ahead and put that derail guard on right quick and we're gonna put in the front uh reflector you can put it right here if you want somewhere yeah but like i said we're probably gonna get a new uh headlight because we're gonna be doing a lot of night riding just don't have a headlight yet um so we're not gonna be doing no night riding tonight but we're gonna be doing some evening riding so i got e-bike uh Knievel helping me putting these bikes together and we're gonna be just test riding i think his wife is gonna be riding this one probably give her feedback and see what she thinks about it too uh, this is the one that she's probably gonna be riding for a while until you know they actually get a, a either another uh, bike or a DIY build or something like that. But 
we're definitely gonna be getting a seat time on this bike I like the paint job I like the green and gray so this is the frame actually looks nice and good I mean the, the weld quality you can see it is really nice and I'm a welder so I mean I, it's, it's pretty nice and you can tell this is aluminum frame alloy aluminum so I thought I caught him on like oh, this. $80 or $90. Damn. So we're going to use this uh, Astro AI to pump, put some air in the tires. So I think we're going to put it at what? Uh, let's see here. Yeah, 32. We'll put it at 32 right quick. So we got it at 32. Okay. Pella, make sure everything is all good. It's so smooth. Really? It's so smooth. Wow. Okay, shift it. Shift it up. Uh, yeah, make sure the derailleur works. So we're going to do some adjustments. All right, that's the front one. Okay. All right. Yeah. Shift it back down, and then you do the other one. All right. Now do the other derailleur. All right, shifting good, no problems. Good, nice, Ooh. nice, nice. That's what I'm talking about. All right, we got some test riders on it before I do my initial test. They testing out the the uh, uh, Ramo. It's pretty fast. Yeah. Addy, you ready to ride it? I like a big bitch. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh. So give me your first impressions. What do you think so far? I feel like the twist throttle goes faster than the pedals, as in acceleration-wise. Okay. What about the quality and the... Uh... It's 30. Oh, yeah. But the pedal, look. If I hit the gas, you go. I know, right? It's quiet. It's smooth. It's It'll really... get to where you need to go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Brakes are good. Oh, yeah. 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 So this is this the one we can ride at nighttime. It's a little faster though. Yeah. yeah. I like this one. I feel like the twist on has more better acceleration. Oh yeah. When I when I started pedaling, that's when it. <laughs> okay. all right so here we are we got the Aramo monster 100 and we're about to give it a little test drive just around the block go on some hills see what it feels like and you know it's not it's not nothing like what i got at the house and everything but this is a you know something to mellow down and just enjoy the scenery so let's go ahead and get to it all right we're going to turn her on basic display has your speed has your trip as you can um you can press the power button once you get your trip and then you have your odometer which uh we have eight miles on it so far and then we can go back to the speed and now we're going to adjust the power level up to five because i like power <laughs> All right, so we're not using the pedal assist. We are using throttle only. So here we have here is the, the Aramo Monster 100. It has a 350 watt profane motor. And put out about, I say peak about 500 watts. So right off the back, the bike feels real nimble. I mean, you can dice this around anyway. I mean, the bike is real light. You, it doesn't. It really doesn't feel like you're riding an electric bike. You, you actually feel like you're just riding a a regular bike with just somebody pushing you from behind. And that's how light this bike is. You know, uh, compared to some of the other bikes, that's way more expensive with the same type of power plant. I mean, not necessarily a Bafang motor, but um, you get what I'm saying. 
So here's the hill that I like to do my little test on these e-bikes. Uh, we're gonna go throw it all in. I don't know if it's gonna make it though. Uh, top speed of this bike is like 19.2 miles an hour. And right now we're getting good pace because it's a fully charged battery. Even though it's a 13 FR battery, it lasts pretty much uh, all day just riding in the city. All right, we're going up the hill. Let's see if it makes it up there. We're coming down to about 18 miles an hour. And there we go, and she makes it. All right, y'all, she makes it up the hill. Actually, we're a little bit bald, but not too much. You know, it's, it's, it's doable. Now, one thing I like about this bike is that some of the other bikes I had did some reviews on is that the throttle, the pedal assist doesn't override the throttle, which means that if you have throttle and then you pedal and then you start the pedal, it doesn't shut you down. Uh, like uh, like the, the pedal assist will just override the throttle and then you, you, um, you, don't, you don't go nowhere. But this, you can throttle and pedal at the same time and it doesn't interfere with each other. So that's the one thing I like about that. Uh, even though this bike's out the box, it pretty, it's pretty well made. I mean, everything was uh, fit and finish was good. I mean, didn't have to do no adjustments to the uh, brake calibers, uh, no noise whatsoever. All we had to do is air the tires up, uh, adjust the neck on the steering on the steering tube, and it was it was it was pretty good. Ah, they're clearing out this pit, um, place right here. Holy crap. So yeah, like I was just saying, you know, it doesn't have, it doesn't have adjustable front fork suspension, doesn't have uh, your, your preload and it doesn't have a lockout, but hey, I mean, for $500, you really can't complain. I mean, at the end of the day, it's an electric bike, you know, it's something to go around the you know, cruise around town, ride with your friends and family, you know. I like the color scheme on it, the shifters. Um, as you know, I like the trigger shifters better, but these right here are very acceptable. I've seen worse, so I can tell you that right now. All right, now we're gonna go downhill. All right, we'll go downhill, we're gonna do a little pedaling. Uh, pedal, the pedal assist kicks in real good now. And there is a slight delay when you stop pedaling. It will have a, it will still go for maybe a second, but then it'll, it'll, um, it'll stop. I mean, the pedal is real good. I mean, man, I, I mean, the, the buffet motor is really quiet, man, for, for a guild hub motor. I mean, I seen, I seen, I, I've seen motors way louder than this though. I mean, heck, the tires are, are louder than the motor. Yeah, and overall, I'm pretty, I'm pretty impressed with it. Like I say, I, I've been on bikes this size that was more expensive. And I mean, had the the frame, the geometry was way off. You couldn't, you couldn't ride with no hands. This one I can ride with no hands. It's it's very controllable. It's, it doesn't have a uh, it's not. It's uh, I had I had more um, e-bikes that's gutless. This one has way more power than than uh, my son's e-bike that I had got that would cost almost a grand with this almost the same type of motor, but it only did 17 miles an hour. This one does 20. So already it's it's already good, you know. And we're gonna just hop on the sidewalk. The seat's comfortable. You can pump it up for firmness. You can let go if you want it more softer. So yeah, it it's. Yeah, I like it. I like it. That sure do. Even my family likes it. So here we are. We are at the park. Oh, let me stop. I mean, the brakes are real good. I mean, you stop on the dime. Like I say, with with a bike like this, you really don't need no. Uh, you really don't need no hydraulic 
brakes on this thing, man. These, those mechanical brakes will do just fine. Believe me when I tell you that. I mean, like I said, I like the, I like the color scheme on it. I mean, my bike is black. I like the green with the gray stripe, uh, with the green stripe right here. And it's just an all around good looking bike, to tell you the truth. So yeah, man. Like I said, we are here. And uh, let's go and see our little trip. We need to reset that. In order to reset the trip, the trip odometer is we just hold the, the negative and the and the power button and you can reset that. And then we're gonna go to our odometer, which we did uh 10, 10 miles so on this bike. So wow. <laughs> we done put 10 miles on this bike so far. So yeah, man. Yeah. It's all right now. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so there it is, the Aremo Monster 100. And like I say, it's a very good e-bike for the price. I mean, you, some of these features that you get on this e-bike are on e-bikes that cost a little bit more. Uh, say for instance, the seat. It is a comfortable seat, which, uh, which I don't mind at all because the fact that this, this seat has the actual pump at the bottom to pump it up if you want more a farmer seat. And then you can let some air out if you want more of a, a plus seat or less farmer uh even though it has a basic speedometer it's already in miles an hour so i didn't really have to mess with the the, the uh the features or the tune uh, aspects of it so you have your speeds in miles an hour then you have your battery indicator then you have your uh speed adjustment you know and you bring it up to five which is your max uh it even has a adjustable neck that way you can raise the bar up and down uh, it has 160 rotors. It has a fast charging battery and a, uh, and a charger. So that's what's going forward. Uh, the Bafang motor, 350 watt Bafang motor. Has a derailleur guard on it. Seven speed Shimano freewheel. And I love the paint scheme of this bike. I mean, all around this bike is very good for the price. I highly recommend it. If y'all looking for a budget-friendly e-bike just to get you around town or to work or school, uh, this is a perfect bike. You know what I'm saying? This is my honest opinion. Uh, like I say, I do it unbiased. I don't, I really don't do no complaints because, you know, when you get your bike, you know, there's always going to be a, a little bit of complaints, you know what I mean? But if you want uh, to, to do a negative, uh, I mean, there's really nothing negative to say about this bike. I mean, you're going to get what you pay for it for $500. Are you, there's really nothing to, to, to gripe about, you know what I mean? Unless you want to, you know, grab about a non-adjustable front fork, you know, and hydraulic brakes. But this bike doesn't go fast enough to even require hydraulic brakes. And the cable brakes are just fine, you know what I mean? It has a basic display. You really don't need nothing fancy to get you where you need to go. And, I mean, that's about it. The Rainbow Monster 100, man, is a good old bike, man. And I'm, I'm, and I'm going to be riding this for a while instead of my 8,000-watt e-bike. Or, <laughs> you know, so, it, yeah. So this is a little bit of a review of the Raymo Monster 100, 26 inch e-bike, 350 watt Bafang rear hub motor, gear hub motor. And yeah, man, if like I say, if you want to purchase one yourself, uh, click on the link, in the, I have it in the description where it can save you a couple bucks when you um, purchase this uh, through me. And you can have your nice uh, e-bike to ride around. Until then, this is the e-bike guy, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.